Hi guys! We are definitely doing a story time, a kind of emotional story time, but before I go ahead and get into that, I just want to say welcome to Mimi's Vlogs! If you're new to my channel, please subscribe! I'll wait! Did you do it yet? And for those of you who are already subscribed, then hey girl, hey! Okay, I'm kidding. That was like so not even sexy, so hey girl, hey! Like you read in this description, we are going to be doing a story time. It was something that was requested by a subscriber, so shout out to you, Liz. I just want to go ahead and say yes, we are in my bathroom, so yes. It's very blue. Everything around this bathroom is blue. I was dumb enough to buy a shower curtain that was also blue, but it's like, what other color would have went in a blue bathroom? So yeah, everything is blue. But anyways, it's because I'm pretty sure I'm like a mermaid at heart or whatever, so you know. Team Aquamarine. So before I go ahead and jump into the video, I just want to ask you guys, have you been seeing the content lately like your girl is getting into comedy and it's about to get real good up in here okay as i um tell you this very unfortunate story um i will also be doing my makeup because i'm about to actually after this film a comedy bit for you guys so Let's go ahead and jump into the story. I don't even know where to start. It's actually really emotional for me. So for those of you who don't know, I am adopted. Before you get all touchy-feely and you start feeling bad for me, don't, okay? Because I am way much happier here and to me this is my home and these are my parents and i love them and nothing's ever going to take that away uh whether that's blood biology whatever i don't care screw science at this point like i love my parents they're my parents that's my mom that's my dad so that's that but yes so i am adopted and that's a long story in itself i'll actually just go ahead and tell y'all that um that's another story for later. We won't even go into that story. Not today. My parents are very like nice people. Like they believe in, you know, people being able to be saved, like children and you know, they're just nice people. So like if they see someone's like in a bad situation, like in a bad predicament, then that's exactly what they're going to do. They're going to go ahead and like, you know, save like these people. I um, actually have a brother and a sister that I lived with. Um, they, my parents also adopted them as well, but to me they are my brother and my sister. No question about it. So, Oh lord, what if I start crying and like my makeup gets everywhere? That's gonna be ugly. And y'all better not share that because that's gonna be ugly. My brother and sister named Andrew and Hannah. I don't know if you'll ever see them on my channel. Who knows what the future holds? It's 2018. They lived with me all the way up until Andrew had to go to college. And then Hannah decided to part her separate way as well. But this is all when we're like grown. Like, I'm 20, Hannah's 21, and Andrew is 22. So, you know, like we're grown folk. We grown. This was like years ago. This was like, uh, honestly, like when I first became adopted. My parents found this kid. His name was Kendrick. Oh Lord, I can't do this. Like I, was, I wanna cry already just thinking about. It. Okay, anyways, his name was Kendrick and he was one of those kids like like you could just tell like he was up to no good but when you seen him you just felt bad for him like you just you just felt bad like you knew like this kid needed someone to like come save him like you know i'm just gonna be honest with you guys like he was a troublemaker like <laughs> i can't even 
and began. He wreaked havoc upon us all. You know those scary movies or like if you're having a bad dream and it's like a nightmare and you just can't get out of it or like those scary movies where like something is happening and you can sense it from a mile away and you try to tell someone and no one either cares or no one is listening to you because they don't believe you that's how I felt let's start so Kendrick was extremely unexceptional he was actually my brother's age okay so like I said I'm 20 my brother's 22 so my brother's two years older than me I'm pretty sure y'all can do math so I apologize for demeaning y'all like that but um Kendrick uh was around my brother's age so he hung out with my brother a lot and like the way that me and my sister saw it like you know like he was a new member of the family so like we were going to welcome him in as a new member of the family like that just was what it was and we didn't question it like it was whatever y'all i did not put chapstick on my lips they crusty but basically my brother and kendrick hung out like a lot and when i say a lot i'm talking a lot so like basically like because like i had a sister like my brother had a another brother basically and oh lord this dude was up to no good from the jump like he hit my mom not like a boom but it was more like a get away from me bow kind of like hit and you know like as a little girl like your girl watching all this and i'm just like that's my mom bro like don't hit my mom and that was like the beginning that was like the start believe it or not i was never actually scared yeah i'm gonna go ahead and put on some lip scrub i was never actually scared of him something about him just didn't scare me i should have been though he just did a lot of like bad things and like it wasn't too bad in the beginning but it all started happening like he's like i caught it i caught it i caught like he was just a bad seed i caught it and I was like, something is wrong with him. And my brother's like, you don't know what you're talking about. Like, this dude is, um, he's been through a lot. And do 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 do. I'm like, dude, we all been through a lot. We wouldn't be in the system if we weren't. And he just was not having it. So I was like, whatever. Basically, I was the girl who cried wolf, which really sucks. But I was. Oh, I'm gonna cry y'all like y'all just don't even understand okay so I was the girl who cried wolf and no one believed me do you want to know when my brother started believing me when he went to the pet store and bought some freaking goldfish okay and this dude killed all his goldfish I shouldn't even be laughing about this like what was that goldfish's name like uh <laughs> I don't even know. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, so <laughs> damn. Okay. Oh, um, <clears throat> collect yourself. So basically, he killed my brother's goldfish, like both of them. And this is when my brother started seeing, like, okay, <laughs> now I'm starting to believe you. This dude is up to no good. He's harmed my, f my kids. <laughs> like, I was like, oh, really? You don't say. Whatever. Whatever. So things. Um, so this is, y'all want to hear how he killed these goldfish? Okay, so they were playing ball at night in my brother's room while the goldfish was on the desk. And he threw the ball and <laughs> the goldfish, it went down the air vent. And when it went down the air vent, that thing burnt up to smithereens don't you know my brother was crying in the middle of the night about his goldfish and my dad pulled open the air vent and they got that fish out of there they got it out i could not even but he was all burnt to the crisp he was burnt like too burnt it ends up being that I just gotta wipe this crusty stuff off of my lips. Now I'm back. So it ended up being that um, he had one fish to survive. So my brother was like sad and he had a funeral for that fish and everything. And it was like whatever. But this dude Kendrick was not having it. 
he was coming after my brother's other goldfish. <laughs> like, why are you gonna take it out on the fish? Like, I'm glad you weren't taking it out on me at the time, because trust me, y'all, my time was coming. Like, I thought I was gonna die. And I, you, we just gonna get into the story. So anyway, after having the funeral, a few days later, is cleaning the fish tank. He was like, today is the day to clean whatever the heck that fish's name was. Like, I don't even freaking remember. He was like, today is the day to clean his fish bowl. Kendrick was like, okay, I'll do it. So, my brother didn't trust him. And he was like, no, no, I got it. I'll clean my fish bowl. So I was like, you know, you're smart, you're smart. Next thing you know, Andrew has to go do something. He's like, I'll be back. I have something to do. Just watch it. Don't touch nothing. Just watch it. He's like, okay. My brother comes back and his fish is turned up dead in the fish bowl. Like, simply because, okay, this evil dude has put hot water in my brother's fish bowl. And yeah, the fish is gone. So now my brother got to bury another fish. Okay, so here's when we start getting into the really like emotional part that I may or may not cry at. I don't know. Um, because, you know, like you block a lot of stuff from your memory. And I'm pretty sure I blocked this from my memory as a child so I could get through and not have to go to therapy. That's when the evil demon started to do his evil dirty deeds. You know what? I'm not going to use names on this part. We're going to call her... Tarinka. I have this cousin named Tarinka. She was dumber than a box of rocks, I swear to God. Um, like, I don't even, like, y'all don't even know. Like, y'all girl, you, woo, she was dumber than a box of rocks. Tarinka and I come home after school. Like, everything was fine and dandy. Like, everything was fine. Like, nothing was wrong like everything was going great that's how you knew something was wrong when everything is going great that's when you know something is wrong allow me to continue me and my cousin Tarinka got home and I was like you know like we had a wagon and I was like you know like let me get in this wagon dumbest mistake I've ever made because your girl lives in a house on a hill and I'm talking this hill is like doo -doo 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 -doo. so yes here is where it all begins I'm in this wagon y'all and I know my cousin dumber than a box of rocks I know she's dumb and you know I don't know what made me do like I can't even explain like I'm getting angry at myself just thinking about it like I can't even explain but like okay so basically I get in this wagon and knowing how dumb she is, I'm like, yo, Tarika, don't let this wagon go. Just pull it around in circles. I, I, I told her 10 times not to let that wagon go. And she was like, okay. I'm like, no. I said, you don't understand me, Tarika. Do not let this wagon go. I will die. She was like, I understand. I'm like, you don't. I don't think you do understand. Whatever you do. And y'all, we're talking like this is a seven-year-old Mia talking here. Like this this is baby Mia. This is baby Mia. I'm like, yo, Tarinka, do not let this wagon go. Like, this is wagon and this is hill. And you, this? No. She like, I got it. I'm like, okay. So I'm like, let's go. So I get in this wagon with my dumb self. Like, I hate myself for this to this day. Like, you know how, like, things happen and it's like, it's your own fault? Mm. That's exactly how I felt. So I get in this wagon. Is this my contour? Yeah. I get in this wagon and I kid you not, dead, dead serious. Kendrick comes up to Tarinka and whispers something into her ear. And he's like, at least that's all I heard. And Tarinka was like, oh yeah, okay. So next thing you know, I'm in the wagon. I'm just like, deedly doo, da -de -de. Like, baby Mia having fun. Like, baby Mia is up in a wagon and she is just doodly dee. Like, I was having fun. So anyway, um, Tarinka 
decides after I have told her she let the wagon go so what do y'all think happened and a lot of y'all are probably laughing right now but I promise y'all like this is not funny like I, you <laughs> like I, I thought I was going to meet God early like this was bad next thing you know she lets this wagon go right okay so this, you, do y'all remember them uh, uh, Raven Simone episodes uh, from That So Raven where Raven be going down a hill or she be going down or something? She be like, ah! or like in the movies when they do, th that was me, y'all. She let this wagon go and I'm like, doodly dee, woo! So like, I'm going down this hill like, y'all, like, y'all, y'all don't even know. This the hill and this the wagon, like, I'm gone. I'm gone. All I know is a car is about to come. They ain't gonna see me. And I'm gonna be going faster than the speed of light for them to see me. They're gonna be like, boom, like, I'm gonna die. Next thing you know, like, I can't go. I really can't. Next thing you know, out of freaking nowhere, um, I hit, it's like God was looking after me and he was like, no, I'm not ready for you yet. And I was like, okay. So, Although your girl was about to be unconscious, I don't even know how I didn't faint. So basically, out of nowhere, I hit a rock. Like, I'm going down that hill, and I hit a rock. That rock was my only saving grace. Actually, a rock and a tree was my saving grace. It's a little rock, too. It ain't even a big rock. It's a little rock. This rock. Okay, so this is the way it's like, do, 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 do. And it hits this rock, and it's like, boom. Like, you know, like. It can't go nowhere. So the wagon, you the wagon stops. But baby Mia don't stop. Baby Mia flying up in the air. Baby Mia like Y'all, I couldn't make this up even if I tried. I remember just flipping like whew, 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 whew. The only thing that saved me besides that rock was this tree. That's how I got this right here. Y'all see that? That's how I got that. Because as soon as I flip up about six feet up in the air and your girl only three feet at the time because I'm like seven years old it's like whew, 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 boom I hit a tree y'all <laughs> and then I fell into the leaves and I was like your girl was knocked out like it was a TKO like bloop. okay and so do y'all know what was happening the whole time all this was going on my parents my daddy was not home he was working but my mama was my mama was home and she just stood she stood on the porch because okay my sister told me she come out and she saw she was like and so she went back into the house and told my mama come out and she was like she like i just thought she was gonna get hit by a car i'm like well like no but like somebody could have done something like y'all your girl was in her feelings at it i was like whatever so guess what I found out, y'all? This little say. After I walked up to Tarinka, I told, I straight up told her, I was like, why'd you let the wagon go? I could have died. The only thing that saved me was a rock, a tree, and the leaves. Because y'all, when I fell back into that ground, I felt nothing. I literally felt nothing. Like, the leaves was like a bed of cushion. I felt nothing. I looked at the house like, why? Like, why would you do, like, why did you do something so stupid after I told you 10 times? Like, I was on my cookie lion from Empire, okay? Like, I was like, why'd you do this? And she was like, Kendra said he paid me $5. So my life, my life is worth five dollars to you five you can't even get a 20 five dollars okay okay Tarinka we done we not cousins no more like I'm done with you I told my mama my mama she believed me she was like I'm gonna talk to him I'm like like why is this dude coming after me I'm sorry that I can call bull from a mile away like he was just coming for me y'all like he was like the human chucky doll I swear my mama was trying to talk to him and that's when he like hit her she didn't call social service or anything like that because she like knew he needed help so like it was whatever to her it ends up being 
that he's in trouble my dad comes home and he's mad at him and it's whatever and you know baby me in the corner like knocked out but baby me also like <laughs> i told you i was gonna get you <laughs> how you like it now how you like me now <laughs> so, like baby me like having a good time like baby me like yas like i'm happy okay like this dude is getting kicked out the house because he gonna kill me if he not and um it doesn't happen so that was the first time i almost died the second time i almost died this is the part that might actually make me emotional um so basically um basically this dude is upset or whatever and like my dad he built his own church so like at the time he like had a garden where the church was and we would go out there sometimes and like play or whatever while he worked and uh, it was only if my mom wasn't home it ended up being that I was out there with um Kendrick I'm telling you right now like he was mad at me he was mad because I called him out on all this crap I didn't care like Baby me was just trying to go on and live life and breathe air, but he was not having that, y'all. Like, he was coming for me. Like, y'all seem pretty little liars. Like, he was A, and I was all of those liars. And so I was out there, and kid you not, I couldn't make this up if I tried. This little word I'm not going to use because it is inappropriate and nobody else should be using it. He um, was acting like he was gardening with my dad. And he, out of nowhere, hits me in the head with a hoe. A hoe. For those of you who are young and y'all don't know what a hoe is, it's a gardening tool. It's like yay big and it's metal and it <laughs> You hit somebody in the head with it hurts. He hit me in the head with a hoe so hard y'all like my dad wasn't looking he said bam y'all how did i not die how did i not have a concussion like how like i don't even know how i'm able to be filming for you guys i don't know how i'm alive i'm just who oh, i'm lucky so there was that like he came for me with a hoe hold on y'all i had a seat to do my eyebrows eyebrows is not on fleet today not today he hit me in the head with a whole hoe and that hurt but then y'all know that video that was surfacing the internet about that girl getting hit in the head with a shovel your girl right after that start got hit in the head with a shovel he said bang all i could do because it like knocked the lights out of me all i could do was be like Once I finally collected myself, I was like, that's it. You going. Out of nowhere, I was making sure my dad hurt me. And I go, ow! Because it hurt, y'all. Like, it really hurt. If y'all don't believe me, it really hurt. Hang on, y'all. Let me do my eyebrows because I'm not about to be on camera looking a fool. Like, they ain't all that, but they okay. After that, my dad was like, what happened? And I'm like, he hit me in the head. Oh, this not good. Anyway, my dad was like, what happened? And I was like, he hit me in the freaking head. And my dad was like, what? And I was like, yes, he hit me in the head. Like twice, three times with a hoe and a shovel. Like, how am I not dead right now? But like at the time, you know, like I'm only like seven years old. So like your girl don't know anything about a concussion. Not yet. And um, my dad is like, you did this. You hit her in the head with a hoe. He was like. No. I was like, really? Really? Like, I was like, look, Dad, like, you believe whoever you want. Like, I don't care. Like, I've been trying to tell y'all for days how this dude is. I've been trying to tell y'all for weeks, months. The longer he step in this house, he's gonna kill us all. Like, it's just over. Anyway, long story short, after that, my brother confronted him because my brother's protective over his sisters. My brother confronted him, my mom, 
my dad and he was sent away I'll never forget like he was like I was happy like he was gone and your girl couldn't have been happier like because honestly y'all I'm gonna be real truthful with you I know y'all be watching them shows on um investigation discovery and all that and y'all be seeing how kids be killing their own parents and how kids be just killing everybody or what do they call it uh young killers or whatever we was all gonna die we all was gonna die but you know who would have died first me that's when they all would have believed me once i died but you know the lord won't he do it the lord had to hit me in the head three times to get my parents to be like you gots to go oh i was like lord thank you jesus he gone y'all don't even know like it was so emotional for me because i did y'all i did almost die he tried to take my life three times down the hill where the only thing that saved the girl was a rock some leaves and a tree hit in the head with a hoe hit in the head with a shovel it's a miracle i'm here i'm gonna be real honest with y'all but anyways whew, i didn't cry like i thought i would and i'm glad because i ain't trying to ruin the makeup <laughs> yeah you guys it happened and whoo you girls i thought i was gonna die. i'm not gonna lie to y'all like it was a nightmare i could not wake up from it was just terrible it was like nothing i could do about it the lord was like look i'm gonna use you i'm gonna let him hit you in the head with a hoe so they know he gotta go i was like you know it happened i'm just glad he's not with us to this day i don't think there would have been any saving him i honestly think he would have killed us all so anyway yeah that's my story guys and it was a really chatty get ready with me and i apologize for all of that i know my makeup's not done yet i wanted to do a story time and i had to think of something real and raw for you guys nothing comes as real and raw as my story um of how i got into the system that will be coming later but in the meantime, you guys, I love you so much. If y'all ever want any type of content, then y'all let me know. Yes, I got a hairbrush right here. Y'all let me know because at the end of the day, I do everything for you guys. Everything is for my subscribers. So if you want it, you got it. And um, so yeah, that's my story. So go ahead, like, share, leave a comment subscribe i'm serious please subscribe like can i get to 100 subscribers and then do a giveaway and i'm talking like a good giveaway like we talking sephora okay <gasps> okay so that's it yeah i love you all follow all my social media accounts my snapchat twitter all of it is in the description down below yeah so mimi love you